Hey guys, Coach Adam talking to you again, answering your questions. And today's question is a really good one that I really want to dive into. It comes from Jennifer, and her question is, as a natural athlete, ways to get the lower half and glute ham tying lean other than weight training exercises. Example, specific supplements, diet, hormone balancing, how to be natural still with desired symmetry and conditioning. I think that the, the main thing to take into account with this question is, um, you know, in the question itself, there was asked, natural was referenced twice. So uh, let's first go into that. Now, bikini, there are a lot of natural bikini competitors, a lot of natural bikini pros. So I don't think that that's a reason why someone can or can't get their tie-in uh, to show up. I think that you could either take your time and you can get there naturally in bikini, or of course, yeah, you can take gear and get there a little faster. There's no arguing that. But let's just look at just a couple well-known names that are lifelong natural athletes that are doing well. Erin Stern won two figure Olympias naturally. She's actually doing her first bikini competition soon, and she's doing that naturally. Justine Monroe, crazy glute tie-ins, natural. Frida Paulson, crazy glute tie-ins, always has competed naturally. But Ashley Cobalser, three Miss Bikini Olympia titles, naturally. Phoebe Hagen, we won a pro show last year naturally together. So that is not, I don't think that that's a factor. I don't think it matters, especially in bikini. You can very much be a natural bikini athlete, or of course you can be an enhanced bikini athlete too. The only difference really is gonna be, I think, time to get there. It might be faster if you're enhanced to get to there, to get to that look. But once you get to that look, remember, in bikini, you can't be too muscular. So it's, it's, every, it's an even Steven, it's even playing field. Everyone can get there eventually. It might take you five years naturally and one year enhanced, but maybe you're genetically, you get there in one year naturally. So throw out the natural thing that is zero relevance to bikini as a sport. Bodybuilding, totally different thing, but bikini, irrelevant. Now, what you're really talking about is your genetics of you being balanced from upper to lower body. Maybe you have a better, uh, you, you store more body fat on your lower body than your upper body, and that just comes with losing total body fat. Now, the main issue becomes what she's saying is she gets too lean up top versus her lower half, and when she gets her lower half lean enough, her upper body's way too lean. Well, that's actually really, really common, and that's going to come down to more than anything going to come down to posing. Okay? So if your upper body gets really, really lean and your lower body finally gets lean enough, uh, where you can see your tines, well that's going to come down to posing. You're going to need to pose your upper body softer than your lower body to give the illusion of perfect balance and that comes down to working with top level bikini posing coaches. So on our team, for example, we have all pro level bikini posing coaches. We have Anya Nicholson, we have Frida Paulson, Phoebe Hagen, and in person with Ashley Kotwasser in, in Vegas and in Denver. So I would say work with one of them to get your posing to make it look like you're more balanced because the reality is no one is perfectly balanced in terms of their conditioning from upper to lower body. It's all in how they present it. Now, one of the keys I will say is getting your lower body lean enough so when you fill out the last week, especially if you have balance issues, I would say get lean enough so you can go into peak week, really fill out and shove some carbs into you and that will give you a little bit of a softer effect on your whole body versus just doing a, like a normal peak week where you're not loading that hard. That would be the only scenario where I would load someone a little harder, get them a little leaner going into peak week, just to kind of spill them a tiny bit so they really, really pop, and then pose them soft on their lower body, pose them hard on their, I'm sorry, pose them soft on their upper body, pose them hard on their lower body to create that visual balance. But in terms of body fat displacement and you, getting leaner on your upper body versus your lower body, you're not gonna be able to change that. That's not something that genetically you can change. So what I say is take your time, natural or not, whatever, it makes zero relevance. Work on your balance, work on getting your tie-ins to be a little bit more developed because the more developed they are, the more they will show with the more body fat that you have and then pose your upper body a little bit softer to create that visual look. Hopefully that helps. Thank you guys and talk to you next time.